Okay, like, I don't know if you guys heard the news, but this is what happened. Let me just play the video. The, this, this vessel right here hit this bridge in Baltimore. Like, that's why, you know, I had to call people, you know, make sure everything's straight. I mean, even though my folks in DC, but this is actually a pretty famous bridge. This is the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. And a lot of people, you know, travel on this bridge. Matter of fact, people were, tra if you look closely, I mean, I don't know, you know, based off of the video that they had, but I saw a different video where it was showing traffic on that bridge. And then all of a sudden, uh, this vessel lost power twice. Again, I don't have that video right here. I don't know if they're going to showcase that. But prior to it coming to this particular beam that you see right here, it was losing power and it tried to cut back on. And that's why you see that smoke right there. This is the second time it tried to recover its power. For some odd reason, the vessel was losing power. OK, uh, but either way, I mean, this is horrible. And the way it hit the bridge, hit the beam and made the bridge collapse. Like that just, to me, that just tells me, and I, matter of fact, let me tell everybody this right now. Anytime you cross a bridge, this is the reason why it's so important for our people to know how to swim. Number one, a lot of our people, like Niji people, don't know how to swim. This is not a joke, but anytime you cross a bridge, have your windows open, have your windows open. I, me, these bridges are not safe. There's no way a vessel should be able to knock out a whole bridge like that with ease. Number one. Number two. So I just so happen to see that this thing said 948 feet Singapore flagged container ship. I was like, Singapore? I scrolled down some more and hold up. No, it wasn't right there. It was right. Is, is they going to say it? Yeah. Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore confirmed that the vessel was registered in Singapore. I was like, the CEO of TikTok is in Singapore. I mean, from there, he's from there. Now, okay, not only that, that just is just weird to me how all of a sudden this happens because this is unusual. This is not like a boat where it needs to, you know, cross a draw bridge and the draw bridge is going up. This thing, like he could have went through, he could have traveled, continuously traveled through, okay? Without hitting the bridge at all. But you mean to tell me since he lost power, he wasn't able to steer the vessel? The last time I checked, and I could be wrong on this, the okay, for example, we got power steering in our cars, right? When we run out of power steering fluid, it's just gonna be hard to turn. That's it. But it's not to the point where you can't turn. Unless I'm seeing something different here, he should be able to move. And then why in the world were those beams so weak to the point if they hit, if they got hit by a vessel, that's it. It's knocking out the whole bridge. All of that construction? I mean, I don't know about that, man. Like you, I mean, I don't care how, what, what size that vessel is. That's not military grade. Like you, okay. For example, when something shut off, like they let you, and, and again, they, the power went out. Now this is not the same video, but yeah, right there, their power went out. Right there, their power went out. But at the same time, that's not gonna stop him from controlling the steering wheel of that vessel. Plus, it's going to be more than one person. That's another thing. A captain has a crew. If there is a power outage, the captain's still on the steering wheel talking. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't no way in the world you're going to let go of the steering wheel. Wait, wait a minute, y'all. Hold on. Go down there. Check the blah, blah, blah. Everybody's supposed to know what they're doing. Everybody has a job to do. 
There's no way that you can tell me that he lost power and lost control of this vessel. And that was minutes before you hitting this beam of this bridge. I don't know about that. Joe Biden addressed the bridge collapse in a public briefing about midday, saying that all indications were that it was a quote, terrible accident rather than an intentional act. I mean, damn, that's without, you know, a full fledged investigation completed. I mean, why would you come out and state that automatically? You can't tell me that they completed a full fledged investigation that fast. <laughs> and then you, you as the president gonna come out and say, oh no, it wasn't intentional, y'all. It was just a terrible accident. Somebody lying. And it was a lot of people on that bridge at that time. And we don't know who died, N none of the numbers. They gonna say seven missing or something like that. It was way more than that. Had to be. The Francis Key Bridge is very popular. Like again, I'm from DC. I'm from Washington, DC. I know that bridge here, that bridge, all I'm talking about traffic all the time coming through there. I don't mean bumper to bump. I'm just saying it gets endless amount of touches from vehicles traveling within that area. Officials said that the ship issued a mayday as it went off course and seemed to lose power. But I mean, okay, let's be real here. Like down. Okay, let me keep reading, which Baltimore officials said allowed them to prevent more vehicles from coming on the bridge. The ship then appeared to catch fire as part of the bridge collapsed over it. What stopped the captain from steering the ship? Okay, you issued a mayday. Let's just say that this happened. You issued a mayday. Your power went out. You can't see. Keep in mind, they do have backup generators on these vessels. That's number one. Number independently on top of that. Matter of fact, let me make that number two. Number three, you still can steer the vessel. There's, there's not a boat right now that you cannot steer if the power goes out. You can manually, it may be harder, but you can manually steer a boat. If you had time to say Mayday, Mayday, you had time to steer <laughs> like no way, bro. And then what makes it worse is that the entire bridge collapsed. Like I, I don't, I don't see how that's possible. And that has multiple beams on that one. Let me, let me see what this is about. So he had to hit like, it looked like he hit this beam right here. Wait, let me go back one more time. Hold on. Which one? Is he still there? Oh no, earlier than that. One, two, three. I think it was that other beam. Let me see the one I was talking about. Yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So he hit he hit this one. Damn, I mean, and that makes that whole bridge collapse. Oh no. That's a big ass bridge, bro. Yeah, one, two, three. He hit that beam I was talking about. And it makes the whole bridge collapse. I don't know about that. Like, I wonder, and this makes me wonder, because there's a lot of bridges in every state. And of course, you know, DC has bridges as well. So I'm, you know, that's a city. So I'm gonna state that separately. But I wonder if they do like routine maintenance on these bridges. I wonder, I wonder if there's something that's already, you know, implemented where they, you know, do checkoffs for safety reasons to verify that things are in place or things are in great shape. And I mean, cause I mean, you got to account for the environment, like whether, you know, the, the load that, that, that is taken, I, I mean, but, but just for this, this vessel and it's large and I'm pretty sure it is heavy, but still to knock out that whole bridge. To me, it seems like the bridge should be heavier than this boat. And then it just so happened to be from Singapore, you know? And at the time that they trying to block, I'm surprised nobody on TikTok saying this. At the time that they, you know, trying to stop TikTok. They want control of TikTok, not really trying to stop it. 
But okay, I mean, that's a nice size vessel. But is that just enough to knock out an entire bridge? But I mean, apparently, the way they showcasing it to us, apparently, wait, this other beam is still standing. This other beam is still standing. Yeah, it's still standing. I don't understand that. So the big, okay, so the big, the two big beams that are in the middle, this one is still standing. God damn, y'all, I don't understand how that's possible. I mean, because not only, I mean, it's none of this is wood, this is metal, this is steel with concrete on top of it. These beams are buried so far underground. And you mean to tell me he hit this beam right here? And it collapsed the whole bridge. Now, now, hold on, let me look at that boat one more time. The boat is not tall enough. Hold on. This vessel was not tall enough to, okay, so for example, this is the rest that was left. So, I mean, the way it looks, it looked like he hit the beam and the beam collapsed. I need to understand how that's possible. I really do need to see that. This beam is still standing. This beam that he hit, it is not like he hit the other three that was beside it. He literally hit the big one. This one is still standing. This one isn't. And keep in mind, this is buried feet underground, you know, in the water. I'm trying to fathom. <laughs> wow. You hit one beam, make the whole thing collapse. But these beams are still up. No, okay, this portion is still up. But right here, something was weak right here. But this beam is still be up. Something was weak right here. Now, I wonder if like the way this was engineered, I wonder if someone knew that there was a weak point in this bridge never really needed to address it because they didn't think of the obvious or they didn't feel the need to do it. But coincidentally, a vessel hits this beam at the right angle to take out the rest of the bridge, at least the middle of it. Hold on, wait, let me make sure one more time because the video looked like it was the whole damn thing. God, and it, okay. Okay, so when he, <clears throat> wait, actually we can see the weak point. When he hit it, he hit the beam. This started cracking. Like it started like, yeah, this went down first. So was this the weak point? It was almost like that was like, which I think to me, this seemed like this was done on purpose. Like me just looking at that. You knew exactly where to hit that beam to knock that bridge out. And yeah, that's a weak point right here. Notice how that still ain't cracked. And did this beam move? No, the okay, and everything else crashed onto the vessel. Now this started to crack. It started to crack right here. Yeah, that cracked here. It buckled, it buckled. At first that was straight, but it definitely buckled right here. And what makes it worse is that the rest of like that what like, and that's another thing. The rest of it, and this is horrible. The rest of it collapsed. Like that was a strong enough hit to knock out this whole bridge. I don't know, y'all. Me, that don't look good. Number one. Number two, that look a little set up to me. I can't prove it. You know, I'm not gonna be able to prove it, but that right there don't look right to me. Let me see what this fool say. The search and rescue operation is our top priority. Ship traffic in the port of Baltimore has been suspended until further notice. And we'll need to clear that channel before the sh ship traffic can resume. The Army Corps of Engineers is on the spot and is gonna help lead this effort to clear the channel. I've directed my team to move heaven and earth to reopen the port and rebuild the bridge as soon as humanly possible. And we're going to work hand in hand with the support of Maryland to support Maryland and whatever they ask for. We're going to work with our partners in Congress to make sure the state gets the support it needs. It's my intention 
that the federal government will pay for the entire cost of reconstructing that bridge. And I expect to, the Congress to support my effort. This is going to take some time. The people of Baltimore can count on us, so with them at every step of the way until the port is reopened and the bridge is rebuilt. You know, we're not leaving until this job gets done. We're not leaving until then. I mean, I guess it's important to to tell the people that they're going to clean it up and make sure it's cleared so they could get more ships moving through there. Oh, and they're going to rebuild the bridge. I mean, I hate when politicians state the obvious as if that wasn't going to happen anyway. The federal government is going to pay for this. I mean, if I was president, I wouldn't be talking like that. I will be talking about the investigation. Like I want to find out what happened just like everybody else. I would try to give an answer to what my speculation could be, you know, I mean, well, based upon my speculation, I'll give an answer, but I'll tell the public, well, until the investigation is complete, I'm not sure. This is all assumptions, but we all saw the same thing. How could a vessel actually knock down an entire bridge? I would, I would be talking like that. We're going to have rescue teams. There's already rescue teams there. I will be talking like that. Yeah, I did see a video on Instagram. Let me see if I could grab that real quick. Of um, people were getting on the mayor of Baltimore, if I'm not mistaken, for not discussing that uh, a rescue, you know, rescue squads were down there to look for survivors. And, or to look for people in general because they know people were missing. Again, the uh, Baltimore mayor didn't mention any of that and they were getting on him. This is what I've been told by the people in D.C. And I did see this video, but it was on Instagram somewhere. So I'm going to have to I'm going to see if I could try to find that really quickly. But um, people like uh, I believe it were activists or something like that out in Baltimore pointed that out in front of the mayor. When he went live, uh, you know, to talk about the situation, which is odd to me. Like, why are why is that not the priority? Priority number one is to rescue survivors. Those that were deceased still rescue their corpse so people can have the proper, you know, send offs. Uh, there's no there's no if answer bus about it. People died when this happened. People definitely died when this happened. And that's unfortunate because there's a lot of our Niji out there. You know, I mean, I know that was shocking. I mean, a bridge falling, you hit some water. If you're able to, you can swim up. But the thing is, this is the reason why I was telling everybody to have your windows down anytime you go through a bridge. It's because if you hit the water, it's going to be too hard for you to open up the, you know, the vehicle. And the vehicle may even be disabled electronically for you to roll down the window. And it's going to be super difficult to break the glass. Like, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, yo, bridge, roll your windows down. So it ain't, if God forbid that, that happened, you know, you know what I'm saying? Or as soon as you drop in there, you, you, you out of there, you just swim up. I don't care how big or small you are. Everybody needs to know how to swim, even infants. Because guaranteed, a lot of the people that, oh man, unfortunately, that were right here did not swim to the top. And what's crazy is, is that they said that they know that when they did a mayday, they notified the people. That's why it wasn't that many people on the bridge, but they knew it was people on the bridge and something was going to happen. Immediately, it should have been rescue squads right there. It shouldn't be no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like if I was if I if I was the people of Baltimore, I would be coming after that mayor. I can't think of an excuse as to the reason why this bridge will be collapsing the way it did, based off of a vessel hitting it. Because think about that. Even if you rebuilt it, are you going to rebuild it better? Are you going to rebuild it where it doesn't have necessarily a weak point? What stop? What prevents this? Routine maintenance probably would have prevented it. Number one. Number two, what what exactly took this out? Like, I mean, he hit the beam. He hit the beam. The beam. Did the beam move? That To me, that seemed like that's the only way that that bridge would be coming down is if the beam moved out of position. 
And, and, and again, with this thing being buried feet deep, uh, is that possible? We had, you got so many vessels coming through here or year after year after year, all of a sudden one hit it and it knocks out the whole bridge. Now they got to work with the people that's probably going to be terrified of going across bridges. Now, how are they going? How are you going to be able to gain their trust again? Can you promise that it's going to be routine mate? See this stuff like that. Like, that's so important, but this shouldn't have happened to me. Uh, it's something deeper. I, I can sense that it's something deeper. I mean, I just don't like this though. I really don't. I don't think anybody would. Cock Wright said that it appeared that there were some cargo or retainers that appeared to be dangling from the bridge, creating unsafe and unstable conditions that were complicating the rescue operation. Okay, so you all were afraid that since some of the containers were dangling, don't jump in that water to save the people. Uh-uh. Fuck that. Excuse me. I don't want to hear that shit. Your job is to rescue people, not make up excuses as to why you can't rescue them. A firefighter goes in the fire to rescue people. Somebody working on the rescue squad is going to go in an emergency situation where they're risking their own life to save another. Now, all of a sudden, you're going to say, since some cargo and retainers was dangling and made it unsafe and unstable for the rescue operation to be conducted normally. Oh, so we got to have feelings for the people that's scared to do their job. They humans too, dang. Okay. Why sign up for the job? That's just like you becoming a pilot, but afraid to fly. That's just like you becoming a surgical doctor, but afraid to open up someone's body. I don't know about that, man. All of this don't seem right to me. Well, yeah, which is a part of 695. Y'all got to understand how major this bridge is. This is a major bridge. And I hope it wasn't a lot of people. I, I mean, I'm, it's unfortunate that I got to say that. It shouldn't have been none. This shouldn't have happened. There were 22 crew members on board at the time of the incident. Mars confirmed that there were 22 crew and said they were all Indian. <laughs> yeah. Stop, bruh. Okay, confirmed that the ship had collided with one of the pillars of the bridge. It said that all crew members, including two pilots, wait, Nick, two pilots had been accounted for. There were no reports of any injuries. Yeah, they in the they they in the vessel. And you mean to tell me two pilots? Uh, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> the more I look into this, the more I read it. No way. Oh, no, both that. So you have two pilots and a crew of 20. That sound, that sound like it was done purposely to me. So, like, cause here go 9 11 all over again. Somebody got to explain to me. How a plane hit a building. No, no, not that one. How a vessel. I wonder how much that thing weighs. And I ain't talking about the vessel. Like, I need to see the math. I, I need to see how that. I, I'm talking about that pillar is. Look at one more time. Look at this pillar, bruh. How? And it's buried underground. Now, okay, for okay, for example, if the pillar shifted a little bit because of the impact, that's still to be determined right now. They're not telling us if the pillar collapsed, if the pillar shifted. Matter of fact, I don't even see the pillar in the in the footage. There's the other pillar. I don't know where where's the pillar. You don't tell me that this vessel knocked down the pillar. Let's just say that it knocked down the pillar. That means that the pillar will sink to the ground, right? The pillar will be sinking to the ground. They're going to have to, I sort of, I, I'm telling you, I need to see footage of that pillar. I need to see footage of the pillar. I need to see the condition that it's in because this pillar right here looked like it was just like the concrete that was on top of it just snapped. The pillar's still in position. 
Everything on top of it just snapped off of it. Like it looked like wind hit this, like a tornado. Where's the, I need to see where this pillar is right here. There's no way that this vessel survived hitting that pillar. I don't, I, I mean, the vessel, if anything, hitting this pillar, the vessel, it should have stopped the vessel. The pillar should have outweighed the vessel. I, I'm not an expert at this, but I'm just thinking like, if it hit the pillar, it may have shifted a little bit, a little bit, but not to the point where it disappeared. You can't tell me that this vessel did that. There's no way. So you mean to tell me that you built this bridge knowing that any vessel could take it out? Now, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I would have said I could understand if it hit like one of these because they look a little skinny. They, they still may even be strong, but they do look a little skinny. Like the first three right here. I understand that, but that wouldn't even take out the, man, hold on, bro. You talking about it hitting the big one in the middle and it's structured differently. The beam is structured differently. It's identical to the one on the, uh, where the far right, our far right. When the one right next to it, it's left. Identical. These are like, I mean, of course they're supporting beams. These are supposed. These pillars are supposed to be structured like supporting beams. I need them to explain to me how can this pillar collapse? I don't see a military ship, for example, that's coming through that thing like a battleship or warship. The only time I would I would say that it may, a warship or battleship may take out this bridge like this is if it's too tall. But if you zoom in closer, look at the height. It's nowhere near. Now it seemed like this vessel would I don't I don't know, but I'm gonna have to call some of my folks to find out. It seemed like this vessel should have went through a period where he gets pulled over and he gets weighed. Right? They weigh how much is being carried onto this vessel because they would know how much it weighs and then how much is going to weigh with this much cargo on it. And then how much it weighs with this much cargo on it, including everything else, humans, everything. Everything should be accounted for. There should be a number that they can hit as far as their limit is concerned. And they can't go past that number for reasons like this. You're gonna tell me, I don't see how you can influence me to believe that this vessel acted just like a battering ram. Like just took out the whole bridge. And I barely see damage to the front. Like it's like nothing. Like it just, just like that bridge was weak anyway. But that will, that's what leads me to believe, like the conspiracy side of it, <laughs> looking at it from that perspective, this boat or this vessel rather hit the weakest point of this bridge to take it out. And I believe that was done purposely. Again, very, very little damage from what I can tell to this vessel. Very little damage. And what cargo are they talking about swinging? Wait a minute. Let me go back a little bit. What cargo? Cargo dangling. Where? It ain't like the vessel tilting over. You talking about like at the front? I don't, I don't see. I need to see the other side. These look straight up to me. I wish this plane go around. I hope it go around. Okay, it's trying to go around. Yeah, why would you zoom out, dick? Keep going around. Zoom in, what are you doing? Why you not trying to show me that? Oh my. I wanna, uh, I mean, from what I could tell right here, cause dick didn't zoom in. 
and look at this side right here i mean it do look like this little part right here is dangling though this um the second stack from the front it does look like it's dangling though i mean but it don't look to the point where i won't be like man f that i'm about to go grab these folks it don't look dangerous dangerous like to the point where like oh it's about to collapse there shouldn't be no reason why. And why are they all the way out here? And the more I look into it, it's pissing me off. 22 crew. Oh my. And all I'm all I'm good. Two pallets. And you mean to tell me you couldn't steer that thing out the way? I need to know the cause of that. I need to know why that is. I need to know so much information that will let me say, I. Right, that's what happened. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me see this. Hold on. They got the other side. Oh, okay. Ho, 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 ho. Um, I don't see. I don't see nothing dangling over. What's this? Oh no, this is this is something else. They they comparing this to the some collision that happened 2016 in Belgium. Bro, this ain't even like for real for real, no, stop. <laughs> stop. Why were you why are you comparing that? Like number one. Number two. Wait, also involved. Hold on, let me read this again. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. The same vessel that destroyed the Baltimore Key Bridge was also involved. Oh, and the 2016 collision in Belgium. Was leaving the port. Antwerp. Oh. To scrape the side of the quay. Several meters of the hall. And resurfaced in the light of the Baltimore crash. The same vessel? Oh, uh, that, that's, uh, oh, 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 no. <laughs> that's like two in a row, bruh. And it looked like when he hit this bridge, this thing ain't, did this bridge collapse? It don't look like it. I gotta look this up. That don't look like anything collapsed. I could be wrong though. Let me let me double check. Nah, significantly damaging meter, uh, several meters of the hull, a hole rather hole. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna show this to my wife though. I'm gonna see if she feel like it. Like if if, if she feel like it, then we may have to do an investigation on this giant. Grab some more information. You know, start uh circling some people's faces and start tracing some names that i mean if she feel like it i'll do it i'm just here to make you think